Hi, my name is Michelle Vegan, and I work as a coordinator with the Regional Partnerships Clean Energy Resource Teams. This presentation is about my research on sustainable behavior change and an approach that I think is a serious game changer in our work to create more sustainable communities. Sustainable change is a buzzword these days, but don't let it lose its meaning. Sustainable change is important because it preserves what we value most, fresh water, clean air, reliable energy, healthy food. To preserve these, we need sustainable change. This seems pretty reasonable, considering that 80% of Americans are concerned about our environment, and nearly 60% of us are really concerned about our drinking water. So if we agree there's a gap between what we value today and what we want for tomorrow, then where's the change? Meet the brain. It's the most fascinating thing in the universe, and it's right behind your nose. It has the power to rationalize the need for change, but at the same time, it gets in the way with well-established shortcuts like habits. What exactly do I mean? Well, a great example is that a lot of us have reusable bags these days. But who here has ever gotten to the grocery store only to find you have forgotten your bag? It's not that we don't want to be sustainable. It's just really hard to change old habits. That is the challenge of behavior change. You see, 95% of our daily activities are determined by our automatic selves. We rely on habits, patterns, and cues from the social herd and our environment. This causes us sometimes to do silly things, like not save energy, or maybe standing backward in an elevator. In this famous 1960s candid camera episode, a man walks into an elevator with three actors facing the back of the elevator. Overcome by the herd mentality, he also turns around. So if we humans are on autopilot 95% of the time, how do we affect change? Community-based social marketing, or CBSM, is the game changer I'm talking about. It is a research-proven approach to behavior change compiled by environmental psychologist Doug McKenzie Moore to help communities achieve broad-lasting la change. CBSM combines the field of psychology, habits, behavior, and change theory with social marketing and understanding how social norms affect our behavior. Together, they create a powerful approach to bring about behavior change. The first notable part of CBSM is that it focuses on outcomes, not inputs. It changes our focus away from how many flyers should we send out about water quality to what do we have to do to get these 50 rain barrels out and installed in our community. Second, we're challenged to actually find out why an action is difficult. Usually it's not that people don't know enough or care enough to do the right thing. It's that they don't have the time. It's inconvenient, unpopular, or maybe they just forget, like reusable bags. Identifying the barriers to a behavior is important, so you can three, Design your program to overcome those behavioral barriers and use proven strategies to build a new community norm and momentum around the targeted action. So here's a few quick examples. First, social diffusion. We like to follow the signals and suggestions from trusted sources. This Gallup poll shows that we are influenced most by our spouse, then children, parents, friends, and experts. High trust is high influence. These are the channels you want to use for communication. Second. Social norming, think peer pressure. You don't need to trust the herd, just follow. It's like the elevator example, or when you show up to work and it seems everyone is biking to work. Make good behavior visible to help build the new norm. Third, use prompts. Not to be confused with slogans, prompts are reminders at the time and the location of the targeted action. Light switch stickers are a great example that the University of Minnesota uses. We're forgetful people, and prompts help us do what we intended to do. Finally, context matters. Many cities are changing the context for bike commuting. Bike lanes and paths and rising parking costs give incentives to bikers and disincentives to drivers. The top biking cities are those that make it easier, cheaper, and faster to bike rather than drive. So, a quick recap. CBSM combines psychology with social marketing to achieve lasting sustainable change by and for communities. It's also a great resource for public health, civic engagement, and other community initiatives. It's an approach that makes doing the right thing easier by recognizing our psychological, social, and contextual selves. It builds community because we act and build on common actions. And best of all, it builds habits. No more one-offs. This is about real change. So I hope you found this presentation relevant to you and your workshop today. And if so, a quick plug. The Bush Foundation is funding my research around community-based social marketing, as well as my time and travel to give presentations, workshops, and provide consulting for community energy and sustainability initiatives in Minnesota. 
There are many ways in which CBSM can increase the purchase and support of local foods. Please feel free to contact me to arrange a full presentation, including research examples and success stories, and to workshop its applications for local foods. Thank you very much.